today I'm going to have a go at making the ectoplasm slime. So I will show you some snapshots of me making it. I'll show you what's inside the box. It's still sealed at the moment, so let me open it up and then I can show you what's in here. Okay, so it's opened up and you get this. And this is the instruction, so it tells you what to do. And then you've got all the... Um, parts in there that you need including some gloves as well so I'll just read the instructions and then see what I need to do um, but the instructions say to mix part A with part B and it comes with a wooden spatula as well so I'm just going to do that now scrape it all out with a spatula There's some on the lid as well so get that off I'm going to start mixing in the liquid gradually. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells really refreshing. Okay, so that's all mixed together now. So it's a really runny, bright yellow colour. And now I need to mix in part C. Ironically, I am using lush times underneath the bowl in case I spill anything. Oh, it's, you can feel it's starting to get really thick now. So this is what it looks like now. So yeah, it's a lot thicker. And then it says I need to mix in part D, and this is the um, thickener bit so you can put in as much as you want to depending on how thick you want the slime to be so I'm going to try putting in half and then see what it's like so it's like a powder in there okay so it's all mixed together now and this is the consistency so you can see it's quite Quite slimy, very bright colour, but I love the scent, really refreshing. Citrus scent, me and my citrus scents. So now what I need to do is clean out these empty pots and then the slime will go into the pots. So let me just clean these out very quickly. And then just be careful when you're pouring it in, just in case it overflows. So I'm just gonna see how I get on with this lot and then the rest of it can go in on top if necessary. Okay, so I've got as much lime as I could out of the bowl. I actually used my um, finger in the end, so you can't get better than that. You could use a um, spatula or something, but I just found my finger was even better. So yeah, I'll show you how much slime there is. So I have got two full pots here. And then it also comes with stickers that you can pop on top of these labels. So if you've got children that are making it and they've got a pot each and you can name it or otherwise you can just put ect ectoplasm on here instead which is what I'm going to do. And very quickly I just wanted to show you how it lathers up as well. I'll just quickly wash my hands with it to show you. So <laughs> I'm just going to take a little section like that. It's really stringy. Right, so I've just added a bit of water. But yeah, you can see how much it lathers up really, really well. So yeah, I'm just using the bath lily now, and literally I'm just using what I had on my hands. But once again, look how much lather you get, you get tons. And when you look at it as well, it is sort of tinged, like a neon yellow colour too. So yeah, I really like this, I really like the scent. So yeah, let me know if you've tried it, um, especially if you've tried it as a shower gel or a slime, I'd be interested to know. But yeah, I really like this and I can't believe how much lather there is just from that tiny bit. So this kit was £10 and obviously you get the two pots. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this um, interesting um, and let me know if you've tried it because I'll be really curious. And um, I will catch you on the next video.